Hey everyone, Avapilot here, and today we're going to be playing It's Mine. And this was developed by Static Winter, find over at Ichio. I have a link down below, you can all check it out. And in this game, we have to escape from a cabin. So let's just get right into it. Alright, we got the regular movement, escape to pause. That's good. I hate when games don't have pauses. React, E, and F for flashlight. Simple. We waking up? Whoa, look at the dust effect. What the? A lot of dust. Yes, I gotta go to the light. Whoa! What got here? I was greeted with silence as I opened my eyes. It seems that I woke up in the middle of the night again. For weeks, it has been like this, and I have not gotten much sleep. I was excited to finally move back here with my wife and baby. Now everything is different. I lay in bed staring at the ceiling every night, left alone with my thoughts. I lay waiting for a sign from those I loved, but it was too late. I cannot take much more of this. I left the key on the laundry basket. Laundry basket! Open anything? Nope. Key! Alright, good. I don't have to open anything. It's kind of dark. But we got light switches. Now, like, that's not ominous. Dark staircase. Let's go right on up. Sure. Maybe after we, uh, deal with some more lights. What's this? Baby monitor? Oh, well. There's, uh... <coughs> uh, there's a hatchet right here. Why would it be in the table? That's not where they go. Or it could be. Who knows? Uh, no light in the kitchen? Really? Oh, this must be it. What's in here? What's that? Old food. No, it looks like we had nothing. The old Mother Hubbard here. Another key. Don't know why we need another key, but we'll take one. Oh, no. As I traveled into the other room, I could see a light emanating beyond the grandfather clock. It felt as if time was still, but the faint ticking reminded me of my time spent in this room. I missed the movie nights we used to have, sitting on the couch and choosing a random TV show to binge. It's funny how time changes without us even realizing it, and it can end without a word or thought. The light that I saw earlier came from the fridge. No food, no drinks. Only a silent greeting from death and an annoying hum. I noticed something on the kitchen counter. It looked like a key to the upstairs nursery. Oh, looks like these notes tell me everywhere I have to go and what to do. I don't trust that clock. Loud tickies. Alright, so I guess I can't open these other doors. I'm gonna have to actually do what they say. Okay. Ooh, light. So I already have a bad feeling that, well, not a bad feeling, but I think uh, our wife and child are not alive. I think we might have done something to them. Maybe. Oh, okay. Light showing me exactly where to go. I hear a baby. I look at my baby monitor for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. No, that's not mine. <laughs> okay. Light. No. Is there a note in here? Yes, there is. The stairway set a path down a dark, narrow hallway to the old nursery we had built for Noah. As I got closer, I could hear his cries. The light in front of his door flickered, telling me to come closer. The door opened with a creak and a bang as I slammed it into a bookshelf. The nursery walls breathed green, and the cries came from the baby monitor in the middle of the room. How can I hear his cries? There's no way that he is here. I know that. But my heart wants what I hear to be true. I need to go back to where it ended. I need to go into the basement and find Noah. Uh, how do we know Noah's down there? Like I said, did we do something to Noah? Yeah, I can't get in through anything else. So we gotta go on this path. 
that's definitely not the basement. It looks like a bathroom. You can kind of tell just by looking at the floor. Those are definitely bathroom tiles. Black and white. Or a kitchen. Oh, there's a kitchen there. Here. And of course, it's dark. Thank you. I do not want to go in there. never liked the basement. So dark, cold, and damp. I forgot that the light switch is on the other side of the room. I'll need to grab the flashlight I keep upstairs in the guest bedroom. My wife used to sleep up there. It made it easier for her to take care of the baby. It was not a second that he was not crying, and my wife handled him so well. At least before the end. I found a note from her journal after the fact. I was disgusted and mad at her. At myself. I could not handle it. Neither could she. She could not come to terms with what she did, so she hung herself in the bedroom upstairs. I could still hear her sometimes. Oh, great! No, oh, I hear moving. It sounds like something was moving down there. Can we shut that door? Just in case. Yeah, let's uh, just do that. Guest bedroom has to be up here. And I want to think it's this one. Oh, we got it. It's really dark. Okay, now it's not. I trust anything. Can I take this anymore? Constant crying and sleepless nights is driving me insane. They gave the baby sleeping medicine and put him into put him into the washing machine down in the basement. I know it may seem cruel, but I need to sleep. As long as Mike doesn't find out, it will be okay. I left the chat. I uh, I left the lid open a crack to let in air, so he'll be fine. Yeah, like those things can't accidentally close. The baby couldn't grab onto it and close himself. Yeah, things like that. I'm moving really slow now. Why am I moving so slow? I don't like how slow this is going. Oh, there's something down here, isn't there? So I'm thinking maybe the wife killed our boy Noah and we took the axe to her. Oh, why is it? What the? Yeah, flashlight doesn't work too far in a distance. Can't see anything over there. Oh my god. Yep. Lights are not gonna work now. Damn. Wait. It's making me turn. I'm not doing this. What's up with the basement? Is it flooded? No, it's just really dark. Oh! Okay. Door just closed by itself. Sure. Let's keep going down. Like, you know, we shouldn't be busting out that door and leaving this house. Something is definitely wrong here. Boy. What's that over there? Oh, no, I see red. Red is usually not a good thing. No notes. Here. Is someone talking? Oh, the hell with this. But look how dirty it is. There's dust everywhere. Holy moly. That sounds like it's coming from where I came. Why can't I run? Or at least walk faster? Normal walking speed even? Why are we tiptoeing? A 
Okay. I don't know if I did it right. There's only one I can move. Oh. Yeah, no in a key. The baby cries morphed and distorted into the sounds you'd hear in a nightmare. And every step I took brought me closer to it. Within its basement, my sanity is locked away. And I'm left with the guilt and memories. I will breaking down around me. Only to realize that I'll never escape this feeling. And we got a random key. Oh, I just opened that. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know. Maybe I should go back upstairs. This key might be upstairs. No, we're moving too slow. Uh, another door over there, huh? Oh, shit. It was this kind of a washer? I thought it was like a front-loading washer. That lady does deserve to get axed. No one must have been asleep when I turned it on. If only I had heard his cries for some sound to let me know he was in there. I'm haunted by the same distorted memories over and over replaying in my head. My mind torturing me with the cries of my son. The guilt. The pain is too much to bear. Please do not do this to me again. That is sad. Oh, no. So he did it. By accident. Yeah, I would still, uh... Wait. Am I supposed to interact with it, though? There was no key here. Let's see. Yep. I opened it. I think. Yeah, it's not doing anything else. It just made a noise. Oh, now it's starting. And the crying stopped. Oh, that's sad. Oh. All right, I'm not going through here. Am I... I can't get out. Oh, we waking up. Are we waking up? Oh, it was all just a bad nightmare. Oh. Moving normal again. Oh, that, that's good. The alarm must have brought me out of my hell and back into the worst world. Rumbling and tapping filled the room. Can't take this anymore. I had no idea that Noah was inside the washing machine when I turned it on. I keep telling myself that it wasn't my fault. My heart and mind feel the opposite. The thoughts of what I've done follow me even in my sleep now. My sanity is fleeting, and I realize that I can't escape the pain, the guilt, the memories mustering inside me. My world is breaking down around me. And there's only one more place to run. I think it's in the top right drawer of my desk. I'm sorry, it's all my fault. It's mine. Okay. Can I get this letter off my... Can't seem to... I, I can't... How do you... What? I can't get the note off. It's stuck on there. What the... I can't move? Oh, come on! What is this? Oh, okay. I have to put it down exactly where I picked it up from. Top right drawer. Wait, where was it? Top right drawer of the desk. Oh, this desk. Let me guess. It's a pistol. Yep. It's a revolver. Ooh. Oh, we must feel a lot of guilt, I guess. I mean, I can understand that. Still, what about mother all right so that was uh it's mine and that was a really sad story so the mother taking care of the child couldn't handle the crying all the time the child in the washer the dad goes to do laundry and doesn't even know he's in there 
Well, that's kind of weird. I mean, wouldn't you look in the washer as you're putting the laundry in when you've seen it? Or woken the sun up, putting the laundry on top of them? Or is the laundry already in there? And you just started it not knowing if there was... I don't know. Yeah, really sad story. But uh, on that note, you'll have yourselves a good one. And I will see you later.